of the most remarkable track sites for dinosaurs anywhere. And it's filled, this whole bedding plain is filled with tracks of duck. This site is remarkable because we have a population of hadrosaurs here. We know the time of year the site was formed. We know the, um, the general climate, but it doesn't stop there because there's something like nine different invertebrate, ten different kinds of invertebrate traces that fine tune the, that level of ecosystem. But there are some other animals here. There's a small theropod here, and then um, there's this little bird track. Okay, so the big question is, Will these things make it down this hill? rather be right now. Made a mold of this previously, and we, uh, you know, made our comparisons. And this type of bird track had never been found before. The weather's significantly different. Yesterday, the winds have finally calmed down, but we did have an accident yesterday where our LiDAR engineer smashed his hand thanks to a wind gust. We had to get him out of here for some medical attention. Hopefully these tripods are going to be used again to continue the LiDAR. Otherwise they're just fancy scarecrows right now. This is the actual surface these dinosaurs walked on. And so this is a nearly adult sized duckbill dinosaur track. Now here are the little footprints of, there's one, two, three toes, and here's a left step, a right step. This is a, a very young duck-billed dinosaur, and you can see the push-ups of the mud squeezing up between the toes. Duck-billed dinosaurs are the most abundant track makers 
at this site, but they're not the only ones that were here. And we know that because right near these tracks are a couple of fossil bird footprints. Here's a toe, here's a toe, here's a toe, here's a toe, here's a toe. There are examples after examples after examples of fossil poop on this surface.